So here we are, August 19 to 2012, with uh, the two counties that have dominated the game of hurling over the last number of years. Tipperary and Kilkenny have met 22 times previously in the championship, with Tipperary winning 13 times, Kilkenny 9. The scene is set, the Battle of Croke Park begins. A place in the All-Ireland Final on the 9th of September against Galway Awits. TJ Reid lays it off quickly as Kilkenny, playing against the breeze, get the very first score. After just 12 seconds of play, Aidan Fogarty ends the move with a defence-splitting movement that began with TJ Reid, and there's a row down at the other end in front of Hill 16, and the referee is making a dash down there to try and stop what was going on while Aidan Fogarty was scoring the opening point. The linesman is there as well, and certainly, and already in its centre, between the 45 and 65, there's another row. This is an incredible start, and obviously the referee, Kyle McAllister, in his second All-Ireland semi-final, is waving them all away, telling them all to cop on, basically, and get on with the game of hurling. Obviously, tempers afraid, the tension is palpable, and the business of getting to the All-Ireland final has to be sorted out. Yeah, well, <laughs> Marty, unbelievable off-the-ball stuff there. Uh, J Jackie Turl is picking up Lara Corbett, Lara's trying to get away, Tommy Walsh is on Tar Burke. Brian Hogan is on Bonner Marriott. They're all gone man to man to Kilkenny back line. Come back there is Michael Finlay. Patrick Bonner Marr lays it off. Tipperary trying to take advantage of the breeze in the opening half. Is this a very quick response? It's not. Ball goes wide off the stick of Noel McGrath. And we talk, we talk about Marty about players not having positions, but they've really moved on. <laughs> this is bringing it to a new level. Colin Finlay's at right half hard for Kilkenny. Richie Power at centre forward. Tommy. Tommy Walsh has got a yellow card now. Tommy Walsh, while you were speaking there, Michael, had a little bit of an entanglement with Lara Corbett, and the words are being exchanged. And Lara Corbett is now chasing after Tommy Walsh in a verbal exchange. But it, certainly Colin McAllister spotted it and gave a yellow card immediately yeah, to Tommy Walsh. And Jackie Turl is keeping very, very close tabs on Lara Corbett off the ball. He's absolutely all over him, and they're trying to move around to make space. But I was just saying, everybody has moved. Uh, Colin Finley is at right half forward, Richie Power at centre forward, Aidan Fogarty at left half forward, TJ Reid at right corner, Owen Larkin at full, and Henry Sheffield at left corner. All the Kenny forwards have moved around, and Tipper doing the same down the other end of the field. Thomas Stapleton with the sideline cut. Did Kenny retrieve possession against the wind, remember? And certainly the wind has increased since the minor game was completed between Tipperary and Galway earlier, with Tipperary winning a place in the final. Comes back outside towards Michael Finnell. Grabbed instead by a half forward line that will, well, positions mean little or nothing here. There's a break inside, battled here by Brian O'Mara, taken down inside the arc, and there are shoulders being exchanged, there are certainly words being exchanged, and certainly this momentum has really, it's a blistering start by both Tipperary and Kilkenny, and all the tactical games being played by both managers well I, I'm delighted the game is on Marty there's so much talk for the last week I, I was nearly for the first time in my life I was fed up with talking about a game and uh, just what a start it'll settle down but uh, and that's what Brian O'Mara I think brings to this temporary forward line this year uh, that sort of physicality I think they learned last year they didn't have that type of a ball winner up front and Brian O'Mara has been a key man uh, throughout the year so far and uh, won that ball well and has fouled and Lara Corbett just getting a little bit of medical attention as he dons his helmet. This is how he got hit earlier. There's uh, Lara Corbett and Jackie Turley. You can see there was just a, a knock there between them. Not quite clear from that no, camera I just, perspective. Uh, yeah, might have just got tangled up in his face guard and th those face guards are causing a lot of little nicks around the eyes. And that. And top score, Pa Bark with a goal and 21 points coming into this championship. All Ireland semi final gets his first point. Yeah, and a real confidence player, Marty. You know, he scored uh, six goals, I think, for Turles in the championship there a couple of weeks ago, 6 3. And, uh, you know, he'd be looking for a good start. Tuck out by David Herity. And once again, as Tipperary go into the attack, Brian O'Mara trying to lay it back for his Lara Corbett. Pass wasn't great, comes instead to Shane McGrath. Nice turn. What about the shot? It's classy. Shane McGrath. Great score by the young hurler from Ballinahinch in North Tipperary. Yeah, super score. Marty just, you know, knew where the posts were, as we say in hurling. He never looked. 
just knew where he was in the field, had no time, and that's a super score. Puck out a lengthy one from David Herity. Comes down first, Conor O'Mahony. Steps away from the challenge. Goes long again, up towards Brian O'Mara and Bonner Mar, who's operating in the full forward line. Coming forward is Paul Murphy. Nice skill by the cornerback. Takes a lovely step and drives it long towards Brendan Cummins. Good hands out of the veteran goalkeeper. In his 71st championship match, 37 years of age, since the 11th of May. The ball coming back to him again as Kid Kenny go into the attack, and that is a brilliant score by Michael Fennelly. Scored a point against Limerick, scores a point against Tipperary. Yeah, Brendan Cummins is clearance. Marty a little bit loose out to Thomas Stapleton and you know, he's going to be nervous enough without that and Michael Fenley picks it up and straight over to our great score as well. Level for the second time in this All-Ireland semi-final. Ball sent in this time by Brendan Maher, swinging to the right and hopping over the end line and wide. Well, we've had five minutes of action. Let's see what happened here, Michael. Thomas Stapleton and Michael Fenley got inside the elbow there. And Yes, Tom Stepan was very wild there, but he didn't, you know, he, he obviously missed him, but a great score by Michael Fenley, you know, and that's what, he's the key man back for Kilkenny now, and his power is going to be very, very crucial in this game. Loose ball, picked up this time by Conor O'Brien, playing really well, the ball has gone inside to Don McGrath, Kevin has to come off his line, it's back there, still McGrath, it's all over the place, and it's scooped away, it's Kilkenny, live dangerously, comes out first Tommy Walsh, Drops it down into the centre towards Brian Hogan, who flicks it out towards his midfielder, Michael Ross. Goes long, down towards TJ Reid. Selected instead of Richie Hogan. Ball inside, who's obviously out uh, for this particular match, and it's TJ that's battling hard for it. Owen Larkin is in there as well. Ball comes out towards Colin Finley. Linesman John Sexton indicates that it is a Kilkenny ball. The ball breaks inside there, and Noel McGrath, if he got the first touch, it was a certain goal, broke away from him, and good little touch there by David Herity, and just got it away. Sideline ball is not great, comes to Michael Cal, another pass, Pearl Sarsfield's man, goes for distance, dropping down to his Brian Hogan, and Hogan, magnificent under the high ball, gives it down towards his captain, Owen Larkin, fouled by Conor Mahoney, free to Kilkenny, on the 45-metre line, difficult enough angle. Yeah, and interesting, uh, Henry Shefflin coming out to take the free. The last day against Limerick, I was very surprised to see Richie Power starting on the freeze, and I think he missed four of the first five. And I don't know what message Brian Cody was trying to send out that day, but Henry didn't like it. He scored two goals in the first half, and uh, he's back now doing what he does best, taking the freeze there as well. That gives you a pretty good idea of the angle that Henry Shefflin is facing. Ten points against Dublin, 1-8 against Galway, 2-6 against Limerick, and his very first point in the All-Ireland semi-final of 2012. Yeah, very even start and just interesting, Brian, Brian Hogan, I think, won two great high balls already off Bonner Maher and uh, he's, Bonner's going to want to get into the game and stop Brian Hogan dominating. Kilkenny working hard, sending the ball up towards Owen Larkin, was he being held? Owen Larkin is found guilty by the referee saying he was pushing, not the other way around. So it's a free out for Brendan Cummins and for Tipperary. Yeah, Paul Corn getting out in front. There was very little in that, you know, he just used his body and I don't know, I think a lot of those balls are very 50-50 and you can, you can, I think the forward sometimes in the next forward himself, you get pulled for those or maybe a back and get away with it. Well, Brendan Cummins has only scored once in his inter-county career. That was against Kilkenny in the 2010 All-Ireland Final. Wind assisted, he's dropping this one in. Dangerous ball, great catch under the... Crossbar as uh, Kilkenny come forward, that's Kieran Joyce coming, uh, laying it off. As again, they go for distance, TJ Reid, Michael Cahill tries to back it down. There is uh, Torig Ma. Ma has to throw the slitter high up into the air in case of being blocked. Good work this time by Richie Parr, lays it off inside. Chance of an opportunity here and it's well taken. Aidan Fogarty with his second point of the match. And Fogarty beginning to pose problems for Tipperary, as he got inside the cover, really good score. Yeah, he's a very direct hurler, but I just interesting there, Tariq Maher going back towards the goals, and uh, that's something I think that Kilkenny will be working on, is stopping him clearing that those long balls up the field and to put the pressure on him straight away there. Every puck out from Brendan Cummins going down in front of that far over side towards Noel McGrath. This one is floating in, Dennis Kieran Joyce playing well. That's two fine catches that he's 
produced in this game. Up into the clouds goes Michael Fennelly, trying to get away from the touch. Two temporary lads chasing after him. Still Fennelly, doing what Pat Delaney did back in the 70s, hopping the slither on the surface, but he loses possession. Noel McGrath gives it to Conor O'Mahony. Conor trots away, confident that a white flag will be raised, and that's exactly what's after happening down at the Hill 16 end. And it is now four points to three as Tipperary produced the goods. That's a great score, Martin. I think you'll get it. You know, people at home get a, a sense for how strong the wind is. The last free by Brendan Cummins and that took there by Conor, Conor Manny. Great, great catch by Richie Power. What a catch by Richie. What a point by Richie Power. Straight from David Herity's puck out. Grabbed the slither in the air. No hanging about, no missing. Just drove it between the posts. Yeah, what, yeah, he's very strong in the air, and, but it just ain't about the wind, Marty. It's, it is strong in his favour and tip, and so can Kenny be very happy with this start? Brendan Cummins needs to change the direction of his puck outs. Let's can Kenny begin to win that side. Again, it comes down towards Owen Lark, and Brendan Cummins has to come out bravely on the ball. Hand passes it down the centre towards Conor O'Mahony. Great block down by Richie Power. As uh, can Kenny chase absolutely everything. This is Brendan Maher sending it over diagonally over towards Brian O'Mara has to go on the motorbike to try and get over there but the sideline comes a little bit too quickly sideline ball for Kilkenny yeah Brendan Cummins here showing all his experience you know, getting out the ball wins a great ball and uses his body and drives out with it and uh, super goalkeeping yeah I thought Conor Amati was a bit slow on the ball you know he had more time he, he took a long time to clear the ball and a great block down there by uh, Richie Powell not a great sideline cut however Michael Finley works tirelessly, but he'd stepped out over the sideline, he would appear. And James McGrath, the linesman over there, says that it is a Kilkenny ball in his 14th championship year, Brian Cody. You see James McGrath with his flag up there. Going to be a sideline cut for Kieran Joyce. And interesting, Marty, you know, Kilkenny are going with a man marking policy. What Tip should do is move their forwards back into their original positions and let and see will will Tipperary um, you know get, get the Tipperary backs out of position because all they're doing at the moment is running around none of them are playing a position and all they can doing is picking up loose ball and Michael Fenley in particular in the middle of the field helping out the half back line and you know I, th I think Tipper playing into their hands at the moment. Shane McGrath working hard and uh, winning himself for free and going to take it is Tabak. Won an All-Ireland minor six years ago, Pat Park. Hoping to add to his collection and at least get into the final. And that's his second point of the match. Still one point between them. Plenty to talk about. And we just have about 13 minutes gone in the first half. Shane McGrath goes up for it, comes back, finds Thomas Stapleton. Owen Larkin is there with the green and red helmet. There is club colours of James Stevens. And Kilkenny City. Gun goes for distance. Going up high is Noel McGuire. And on landing turns beautifully like a ballet dancer. And hits that slither straight over the black spot. And once again, Tipperary and Kilkenny are level in Croke Park. Level for the third time. Yeah, and we saw his younger brother John in the minor match beforehand. Scored a couple of great points from play. Another uh, star in the making and Noel McGrath a great catch over Paul Murphy and straight over the bar and we've seen some great high fielding so far we've seen Kieran Joyce two great catches Brian Hogan Richie Power and it's a great feature of the game uh, to date David Herod he's put out comes down first Conor O'Mahony finds himself under pressure immediately from Richie Power tenacious hard work by TJ Reid it's hard to stop once he gets the slipper into the hand gives it back first Michael Reid onto the left hand and that is straight between the posts. Michael Rice, both midfielders for Kilkenny have now scored in this All-Ireland semi-final. But yeah. credit TJ Reid, he really worked hard. He did, Marty, and the intensity in the tackling of the Kilkenny forwards is back today. Great catch again by Bonnermar. Bonnermar to Larkovic. Richie Power almost getting a block in, taking on the challenge. Power has to go back first, Thomas Stapleton. Stapleton flicks it back for his Burke again. Available is Shane McGrath. But Pa Burke has the confidence to have a lash. But he sends it to the right and what? 